Hello. Today I want to get this area ready for planting some winter squashes. I'm Liz Zorab and this is By the Farm. But what I want to do is try and uh, get up this grass that has come up um, <laughs> through uh, the gap in the membrane between uh, outside and inside the polytunnel and it's now just taking over. Oh, that actually looks <laughs> like that won't be too difficult <laughs> until we get to the edge, I suspect. It's the 1st of June today and it looks like we might have had a very light frost last night. It certainly wasn't one predicted, um, but the, um, the nearest weather forecast station is at the bottom of the hill, uh, where it is sometimes, uh, in fact, a lot of the time, uh, considerably warmer than it is here at the top of the hill. And it said last night uh, that it was going to go down to seven degrees at the bottom of the hill. So I'm guessing it could have got to uh, below five here. Uh, there's something I'm going to have to watch out for. Last year we had a late frost and the year before when we were in Monmouthshire we had a late frost. Um, so it is something uh, I just need to be wary of. you how delighted I am uh, at the ease with which this is happening. I had thought um, that this was going to be a really really hard job that I was going to be struggling to uh, lift the grass. Um, <laughs> so I'm very pleased. Oh, there's a few stones here that I used to hold the, the membrane down with when I first put it down. I am really pleased with um, the ease with which this is coming up. What my plan is along here uh, is that there is a lot of grass going on the inside. So I'm going to do the same process on the inside of the polytunnel, which hopefully uh, will pull all of this through uh, onto that side and get rid of it. And then uh, I'm going to uh, cut some holes into this membrane and plant uh, into the soil here. This hasn't had anything growing in it for over a year. Um, the membrane will have killed off most of the grass underneath. And so when I plant in, uh, the, the, the squashes will have all the nutrients that are in there. Or at least I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> it may well be that I'll cut much bigger planting pockets and put uh, compost into those. Uh, we'll wait and see. So um, I'm going to recycle um, some uh, wooden uh, decking planks from uh, another area on our homestead and my plan is to fit them, <laughs> they're very warped, <laughs> but my plan is to fit them um, onto this wooden beading here uh, if I can get the screws to actually straighten them up and pull them in, that would be amazing, uh, we shall see. Um, but that's the idea, which will give me a, a back edge there and exclude the light from in here, which hopefully will stop uh, more of this grass growing back and I'll have got it from the inside. 
So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try. Um, I'm going back to my days um, in the old house where I would just try stuff and just see, <laughs> see what happened. Um, because, um, well, do you know what? I actually got quite a lot done when I didn't spend too much time worry, worrying about planning and I just got on with stuff. Okay, so I'm going to try again. <laughs> One. <laughs> we'll see how we get on with the others. I might need some different screws as well. I can actually use uh, some really quite long screws on this because there's this piece of wood and then battening and then there's a piece of uh, two by four on the other side so it's got um, it's got quite a lot that it can go into um, so let's let's give it a go I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't go in where uh, there is a, a screw or, or a nail on the other side. That's a big smile there. Um, so these, these screws are sort of self, is it self tapping, is that the right word? Anyway, they, <laughs> they really drive themselves through the wood uh, very easily. Yes! This makes me so jolly, jolly happy. Now, these um, pieces of wood, I, as far as I know, four of these uh, will do the whole length. Uh, and that's why I've brought four over. This may not be glamorous and it may not be perfect, but uh, it's certainly going to do the job uh, for what I want it to do. And I'm very pleased. I really do wish I'd done this uh, when I put the polytunnel up, but uh, I didn't. So here he goes. Uh, we're doing it now. And I've just got that end to do. Yes! Uh, I've hot and <laughs> I'm sweaty, but I'm very, very happy. <laughs> Making this takes me back to uh, days in our old place where I had no idea what I was doing uh, with woodwork. So I would just do a trial and error. And that's exactly what I've done here. So um, the, the recycled decking boards um, are to about halfway now. Um, and I'm going to do half at a time because uh, it's quite warm um, and the uh, oil that I'm putting on to stop me being bitten by horse flies hasn't got um, a sun protection in it so I don't want to be out here for too long uh, in the heat uh, or well, the very bright sunlight. So uh, I'm going to do it in two halves so where I've got to so far is put that on and then I fixed uh, small bits of wood uh, in a couple of places and then I've fixed a cross piece and uh, the front bit is on. So uh, the first section to here is done. I'll then uh, join pieces of wood to go along there. I'm getting quite excited about this. This gives me a small bed here which um, when I, I'm not going to cut this membrane using scissors, I'm going to uh, get my little kitchen flame, <laughs> flambe thing, flamethrower, uh, and melt it because then the little pieces of plastic don't float all around the garden. And there are enough of those here already from tarps that have disintegrated. So uh, I will then cut the, uh, the membrane out using the flame, that's not a flamethrower, it's just a little chef's flambe thing. I'm probably not a good idea for me to have a flamethrower. But anyway, I'll cut that out uh, and then put some compost on top of the soil and plant into that. And I think I'm gonna be able to put three, maybe, I'm probably gonna go four actually, four uh, plants per section like that. So that's four plants for, I'm guessing, about 10 feet. So it might be a little bit close together, but they're just gonna to have to scramble together um, here. <laughs> I might see whether I can fix up something that allows them to climb a bit, but that's for a later day. And, oh, so there we are. This is where I've got to. I'm really pleased to have done this so far. And we'll come back again, uh, either for part two uh, or when it's completed. <laughs> 